Hi guys, so I'm going to start working on making a site plan for my project. This is where my house goes. So I will X-Rev my roof plan or even the first floor plan uh, over here. I would be making a few layers. I'll be making trees, be making the pool layer, uh, the fountain layer, the jacuzzi important is the property line then I have my driveway uh, I even have some contours that show the slope of my site now again this is not done to exact dimensions it's done a little bit approximately so you would be working with the right dimensions when you work with the site plan so let's start working on this. What I'm going to do is uh, move this up, get it out of the way, and we are going to try to make the similar site plan, but over here. So to work on this drawing, I'm going to use the same template that we've been using throughout this project. Now I go AutoCAD, New, and I will be using tutorial iarch.dwt. Okay, so that is what I have open here. Um, I have my paper space and model space. As usual, I'm going to work in the model space. So, first things first, I have to make sure that I go and make all these layers, like the contours, then I would be having the pergola, the pool, the property line because these layers don't come with the template so I will have to go and make some additional layers now to make layers again I have the tutorial uh, for layers which you could go and refer to so you would understand how to make these layers but I'm not going to make them right now because it's already made for me so to start with the site plan the first thing I will do is xref my roof plan in position so for that I would type XR enter and I would go attach and I would click on my roof plan I could even put the first floor plan it's up to me but I have already attached it over here all I have to do is select it right click and reload so when I reload my roof plan falls in position if I click on it, it's in one piece. Why? Because it's an XREF. I can, if you see that the the roof plan comes in a little lighter than it is, it originally is. I could control um, the opacity of my XREF by using the command X D W G F A D E C T L and hit enter now the fade is on 70 so what I will do is put a 0 and hit enter and all it does is it makes it the original uh, original opacity which is 0 so I will start working on this and try to make my site plan that you see over here okay so the first thing what I would do is go to my layer and make my property line that you see here so I'll go to the property line select the property line layer which is right here and I would start drawing my property line start somewhere over here now again I'm doing it approximately going that way going maybe that far going back here and ending up in that position I just move this drawing a little bit lower so it's easier for me to view now once the property line is done the next thing I will do is try putting in my roads okay so for that I would probably go into uh, and make a new layer called as a road or street or let me see what I have it in right now I think I have it 
um, in the layer as driveway let me click on it it shows driveway so I have to select the driveway layer and make it current so driveway make it current but you could have it on the street layer now for the driveway first thing I see over here this is the sidewalk so I could offset that from my property line first I make a line and offset this 10 feet for my sidewalk then I would offset it 6 inches for the curb then offset it maybe 40 feet for the street going in that direction then offset it again 10 feet for the sidewalk on the other side I can offset this again 6 inches for the curb so that's where my street is on one of the sides and on the second side I would do the same start with a line I would offset this 10 feet for the sidewalk from my property line I would offset it 6 inches for the curb offset that 40 feet for the street offset 6 inches again for the curb and offset 10 feet for the sidewalk so I have my street laid out all I need to do is do some trimming do some fillets and uh, work out my driveway that you see here now the driveway is at a distance of let's see 26 feet from the curb so I can offset that 26 feet from my curb in that direction and let's see how big my driveway is it is 24 feet so I'm gonna offset 24 feet on this side alright so now what I would be doing next is just trim is just trim my uh, my lines TR now this is for the driveway there you go and I would trim uh, I would fillet these lines so I'm just going to extend this right now so I could use the fillet and then fillet them okay extended those same thing I'll be doing over here I extend these alright this is not that important but I'm just showing uh, it to you guys anyways so let's start with the fillet I'm going to fillet this curve fillet R for radius and the radius I'll give is 20 feet click that line and this line that line and this line okay so I got one street already taken care of then I would do a fillet onto this side I'll extend these lines first and I do fillet radius 20 feet I'm just using the same thing and I'll go with that okay now obviously I need to trim this area because this is where my car is going to get in and park onto this side now let's see how it's going here I have to uh, I have to make sure I have the right distance but I think mine is a little bit more bigger so what I could do is move this up from here up to there okay so my driveway snaps in in the right location trim this much area out again okay so 
what I would do next, make sure I give an arc, or I could use fillet for putting in for my driveway. And I could mirror this MI on this side. Okay, move it and align it in the right spot. And trim out the excess. I'm going to trim out that, trim out this, make my, make my sidewalk go back. or make my curb actually offset this for the curb as well okay same thing on this side and I'll trim it out alright okay so now I have the driveway in position the next thing I will start doing is start putting some more information like the trees and the grass and the pool now to put in the trees what I could do is just go to insert I could go to the design center and I will look for the tree blocks that are already there in AutoCAD in the landscape dot DWG so I have uh, some trees I can double click on hit OK put it in position I can go get the north arrow which is extremely important put it somewhere on the screen some more trees hit OK picnic tables if I wanted one hit OK now what else could I use from here I have to make sure that uh, anything and everything that I use is in the top view then I have a swimming pool here which I could use as a jacuzzi because I already have a swimming pool on this side so once I'm done with these I'll make sure that I put it onto the right layers I'm going to put the trees onto the tree layer which is um, let's look for the tree layer huh where is the tree layer there are so many layers out here just because I have three X reps loaded in and uh, this would go into the pool layer where's the pool layer now pool 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 I think I passed it there you go okay and I would make even a little pergola this one and that one that you see here so instead of making it, I've already made it, so you have to go to that layer called as the pergola and you can design it. So I'm just going to copy it right now to make my life a little bit more easier. Copy it from there to here. Now this is the three steps that go to the house. Once that is done, I would I can even put in the different contours. So I'll go to the contour layer, contour layer, and start putting some contours in by using the spline command. I will go click, 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 enter, 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 again, click, 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 enter, enter, enter. Now you have to know these are all approximate, they're uh, not up to any certain size. Okay, so you would put in uh, and work with the contours as you have your drawing set up. Okay, so I have the contours in position right now. Then what else could I put in? I will copy the trees. I could scale them. I could put it in different spots. I could put some more trees there. I have a couple trees here just don't want to overdo the trees so I'll just keep a little bit less I could copy these now I could scale it uh, so it doesn't look the same everywhere I could make it a little bigger and smaller I could scale it by using the scale command SC 
and click and scale it right 